to coming to my YouTube channel. I am Anya Charday, and if you're new here, make sure you click that red subscribe button down below. It's right. Bye. So today I'm coming to you with a foundation routine. It's going to be all like affordable products and drugstore brands. So if you would like to see me beat this face, well, foundation and couturing and stuff like that. This is okay. Too. So usually when I first get started, as you can see, my face is ready. Yas, I. So stress, skincare regimen is so key, okay? Skincare regimen. And if you haven't checked out my undertone video, usually, if you don't know what undertone is, it's usually uh, about your skin tone, cool or warm, if you ever heard those words. And finding the right foundation shade is so important. So, first I like to use, I'm like almost out, is my, if I can hold it up, okay, baby skin. Primer for Instant Pore Razor by Maybelline. It is like really, really good. And also it really does erase my pores, which are really kind of bigger, like right in this region and right here. But it makes everything smooth because as you know, a primer is just supposed to make the skin, um, the canvas, the face, one even surface. So you won't have like foundation going like this, like that. Or foundation just stay in one place. That's why primer is important to you. So I got the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Yes. I don't know if you heard about it, but it's like really raving. Like it's like the best thing ever popping right now in the beauty world. So it's a two-in-one foundation and concealer, medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. So I said, I, I got to try it. I got to try it. It has concealer in it too. Help these. Uh, under eye, even though they're not that bad because I do use my cream and I've been using it a lot more lately. I understand that if you're going to use something that says um, oil free or have just things that will kind of conflict with your dry skin, if you're a dry skin people out there, then make sure you definitely put oils in your skin. That's why my skin is ready because I made sure I hydrated my skin. Again, I can do a skincare regimen showing what I particularly use, but so that helps as well as so my skin can. Um, have its oil as well as you know have this substance and of course primer works as a barrier as well so it doesn't go directly in your skin but yeah i just wanted to let you know done usually is it's a pump you see it's a cool little finger okay <laughs> so i usually just one pump i end up doing two but one pump is cool for now now you can use your beauty blender i have my real techniques or you can use like a foundation, I say a foundation that brush that is like a buffer. I love the buffer brushes and I'm using buffing brush by Real Techniques to do my brush first and then go back on my sponge. So let's do this. And I love to like kind of just do that a little bit. Not to grab as much. And that's why I love this brush too because it doesn't soak up a lot of product. But I just make a T right like that. And then kind of just put it, you know, here. Now, when I get really precise, that's when I get my sponge and I just really want to, like, soak it in certain areas, like, especially, like, under my under eye. But at first, I just do this to dab because this, you don't need a lot of product, by the way. This goes a long way. Now, you can see, uh, I haven't said my nail, I'm using tan. Um... When you watch the undertone video, you will find out that I am warm tone and you will get more depth of what warm tone is. This is actually in 10, uh, I think it's 9, 10. Yeah, and it's really for neutral tones, but you'll find out more in depth about that video what neutral tones mean. But really, it is still for like, it said neutral tones, medium to dark. So it it's not too far from my complexion to be honest and it actually oxidizes so it actually turns into the right perfect shade because at first I'm like oh my gosh it looks like it's like too light oh my goodness and in a store because I got it from like CVS oh the struggle is real like if you don't you might have to get it offline Milani Cosmetics was it because it was hard finding this. And it's supposed to be like in some Walmart, CVS's, and uh, Walgreens. But I could not find this anywhere. I had to actually look up, put the um, foundation in to see where it was. Ugh, struggle is real. 
But also, it doesn't, in the stores, they don't have, like, the darkest shade they had in liquid form was tan and what have you. But, um, this is really awesome. So, if you're in, like, NC45, I say give it a try. I've seen people use other ones because I was going to use the shade, I was going to use amber, but I've seen amber. And because this does oxidize, it does get darker, I wouldn't, I would get a shade lighter than what you're under like what you normally would think with your undertone because it really doesn't it's not it gets darker so it's not going to stay that shade and so far this is just one pump but i like to go in with another just to see if anything that i miss and when i need to do my foundation routine i like to get my lips because it actually helps like a good primer too to warm up your lips for your lippy of choice. And you gotta get that neck. You got to get the neck. Another pump. Just to get like into the eyes. Cause you can see it's kind of already covered up a lot, right? But I like to get my little technique sponge, beauty blender, whatever your choice. And just get a little bit, you know, not a lot. And just get into right in here it's really awesome so i'm just really getting those spots where maybe my brush missed again you don't have to do two pumps this is just my choice there's a lot of blending involved when you just trying to get the application you want i'm like barely like whipping so I'm just going really like an airbrush finish because that's what I want. I want it to look like my skin. Foundation is supposed to mesh with your skin. It's supposed to look like, yeah, you have foundation on or what have you, but you're not, you know, you don't want to look like cakey per se. It's going to do this. Almost like a triangle effect. Now as you can see, I'm kind of getting as close as to my nose as possible. And then going around here. See that I'm like, I'm stopping at a specific point. I don't want my face to look more wider. And if you have like a, maybe a narrow face and you want to maybe make your face look wider, you can keep going all the way like to here. But me, all I'm trying to do is, because my face is already round, I want it to look more narrow. So I'm staying right in here, not moving any more farther past my eye, corner out of corner of my eye. And with my nose, I'm actually trying to contour. And you can see when you do this with a concealer, how awesome it's already contouring your nose, where you don't even have to use any kind of darker shade to contour. You can actually just use this. See, I love that. So, just use the same sponge <laughs> and just pat lightly. Your under eye is the most sensitive spot on your face, so you want to be careful to not damage it. And I'm not going too far up because you don't want to add like a crease effect because if it's too much product. Going towards like right here, it actually starts to creep to the corners. I'll do this. And this is my Morphe 334 brush. Just to get into there. With this product concealer, you have to set it because it's going to uh, dry very fast. <laughs> so what I'm gonna use is another new product. This is the LA Colors. Uh, like a tour and highlight palette. I love this, by the way. I will have everything in the description box of, I think it's medium. But I have everything in the description box that you can go find and look up for your own reason. What I like to do is, instead of like baking, because no, I don't bake, because I'm dry. I have dry skin, so I'm trying to stay away from as many powders as possible. But th these powders don't make, like they don't attach to my dry patches. So I love it. And it's, just a really creamy powder it's not very loose so what i like to do is mix these two and it actually adds the highlight effect that i like so i'll just dab in there dab dab a dab and just 
put in on where the concealer word is. I really love the finish. And this just sets the concealer too so it don't move. First, I like to use like a bronzer to just warm up my face. And I'm gonna use my All Over Glow Milani bronzer. If you've been following me, you know I just I'm in love with it. It's like in almost every video. Like there's other bronzers I have, but yeah. What is this? The Real Techniques uh I think it's all over or expert oh expert face brush. And get some product and dab some of that off. And what I like to do is just go around the perimeter of my face and warm up my face. Because when you add any foundation, what you're doing is you're actually a um, foundation, concealer, and all that. You're taking the color from your face away. So you want to add color back. This is why it's important to bronze your face and what have you, even if you don't choose to contour. And I usually kind of like go like where the hairline is. You know, basically where you'd like the shadows of your faces, you want to really kind of contour and bronze. And where the light hits, which is here and here and here, you would use the highlight to contour. And I like to use this color right here in the palette. It's a little darker. And you're just doing the hollows. You see how many how much product that is? And I, even though I tapped it. And you're just going in the hollows. Right there. Where it's naturally shadowy. Just the hollows. And again, you would go over the bronzer where you put your bronzer. This is why you want your hair to be back. And the struggle can be real. And you can see how I'm going like almost to my sideburn, but I'm not going past here. And I use the same color just a little bit because again, you don't need as much. And I just go a little bit here. So this is just a concealer brush that I got from Sephora a while ago. I'm done. So I'm going to use this color right here. I love that color. And I'm going to use this like bronzer brush from e.l.f. Debunet. Toss them off. And your blush, the whole object of blush is supposed to cover up the contouring. So you see how I contour, you can see it. Well, you're supposed to cover over blush. You want to put it on apples of your cheeks, but you want it to mix into the contour where it's like one pretty color together. Sometimes I get a little jazzy and I'll show you. I get a little pink right here. Just, you know, liven it up a little more. Of course, blush, brush that out because you don't want the clown effect. But your blush is just supposed to look like you're kind of like a flushed. Your face is flushed. Again, though, it brings color back into your face. So what I like to do is add the same colors to my forehead. The the I'm going to use my Morphe M495 fan brush. And I am going to highlight. I'm going to use this highlight color. It's really pretty too. So I just cutie match gear like these. And I like for my highlight to mix in with my blush and contouring. So I kind of just go start up here at the high peak, high points of my face, and then I kind of just drag it a little bit. I'm gonna use my Miss Helene from BH Cosmetic Bait Highlight. Another affordable place. Of course, I'll have everything in the description box. 
And what I like to do is I'll mix both of them together. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's messy because I'm always using this color. But you're going to see why. Because they're haletto. They're haletto. I like to glow. So you don't have to go as heavy as I do. Do what you please, and now I just put it on the tip right there, and again around where my eyebrows are, a little bit above. And cubie view this again, but I'll use this color and that color. Like how you would could you know how you get that precise couture okay and then I just go over and tonight I'm spread here to spray and this is NYX matte finish uh long lasting matte second spray <laughs> so you do And so the spray just allows it to stay in place and not move. And last eau de loup. All right, and that concludes my foundation routine using all drugstore products. Hope you liked the video and thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new here. And yes, check out all these products. I love using them on a regular. My final result on this is amazing. I've used it before. I actually uh, used it the other day, um, but I, I watched my foundation, my foundation, finding the right shade video because you uh, will know how to test it and you will know how to um, go about it if it will work for you or not right off. Return all those different notes. Check that out. Trust me, you'll like it. You'll learn a lot about foundation, undertones, and all that jazz. But yes, I love this. I can see why it's the rave in the beauty community right now. It's amazing. Melania did this thing. I love it. So nice. So I would recommend this for dry, oily, what have you. Try it to see if it works for you. If it don't, then I'm sorry, don't. But it did work for me, and I have dry skin. And this is the tan, in color tan, I should say, for neutral undertones. But neutral usually can be universal. So yeah, but for medium to dark skin. Check it out, and you might have to get it on their website. Again, I have everything in the description box if you want more in details. But yes, you'll be seeing more of this on my face. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. Remember, beauty is inside out. I'm going to break down what an undertone is first, and then I'm going to explain why it's so important for you to know what an undertone is before you go out and buy any kind of makeup. Okay.